Hey guys, this is Tim from Top Low Reviews, and today I have a review of the Bose Quiet Comfort 2s, a partner or a counterpart to the Bose Quiet Comfort 15s. These are a more high end model, and they are going to cost you about $600 depending on where you get them from. I've seen them anywhere going from on eBay from to $300 to $600, depending on where you get them. If you get them standard for Amazon, you can get them for $600 USD. I'm not sure about the euros on that one. I don't live in Europe, sorry. And uh, these are pretty cool headphones, so make sure you stick around for the rest of the view. It should be getting pretty interesting soon. So when you get the Quad Comfort 2s, you also get a carrying case with these, and I'm just going to go over that before I do anything else. Uh, as you guys can see by this picture, the carrying case is pretty large. It's good enough to house your headphones, and on the front, it says Bose Acoustic Noise Cancelling Headphones, little trademark symbol. And now that I'm flipping it over to the back, you guys can see that it has a stretchy elastic on the back that you can hold some extra wires or something like that. There's also a clip on the side of it to clip onto your backpack or something like that, but I wouldn't really advise that because they would be stolen in about three seconds. Not really sure why they put that there, but it's I guess it could be pretty helpful. Right here you guys can see a zipper. Uh, this zipper is uh, handy because uh, you want to zip up your thing so you don't so your so your headphones don't fall out of them. It's pretty practical, uh, pretty self-explanatory. But I do like the zipper. It doesn't get stuck very often, and when it does, it's pretty easy to untangle. I mean, uh, unfit, like fix it, I guess, uh, would be the correct wording. And uh, here I'm showing you guys the inside of the case. And uh, right here, you're sh you're uh, you're seeing a picture of the courtesy cards that they give you. So if someone asks about your uh, your bows or where to get them or something like that, you can just hand them one of these courtesy cards. And uh, I don't really know a really use to this, but I guess that would be it. Um, so I'm showing a better, a, a bigger view of that right here. And on the other side, you guys can see it has a, a spot for where you can put your headphones. And it has that little plastic thing, which I'll go over in a second. You guys can see the little ear cups right here, which you, uh, which protects the ear cups and so the drivers don't get damaged or anything like that. And you guys can see right here, it has the zipper uh, mesh pouch on the top of it where you put the plastic. And, uh, um... So here's the headphones inside the case. It fits pretty well because the headphones are adjustable. I'll go over that later. But inside that little plastic casing, you guys can see that they have uh, these three uh, accessories that come with your uh, headphones. There is the extended wire, which is on the left, and there's a studio uh, converter thing in the middle. I don't really know what to call that. And there's an old form of uh, input I mean, output on the, uh, uh, input, I guess, on the right. I don't really know what that's called. I've seen it in other videos, but no one really seems to know what it is. And, uh, right here I'm showing you guys the wires uh, that actually come with the headphones themselves. They weren't in the plastic. They come with the headphones. And here's the end of it. You guys can see it's a pretty large end. Uh, it plugs right into the side, but I'll show you guys the design of that later. Um, it says high and low. I'm not really sure what that does. I mean, I haven't really experienced much of that because I actually just noticed that a couple minutes ago. Um, uh, right here you guys can see uh, the side, I mean the uh, other side of the wire which plugs into your computer slash uh, iPod or whatever and uh, it's pretty nice. It's silver plated, not gold plated, but it's still okay for uh, for the uh, sound quality. I mean, yeah, it's the best you're going to get pretty much. On, um, so right now I'm going to be getting into the build quality of these headphones. As you guys can see on the screen right now, I'm just showing an overview of the headphones themselves. They look pretty nice. And uh, right here, I'm just showing you guys the back of one of the ear cups. If you see that little metal thing right there, uh, that it looks like kind of like meshy metal kind of thing. It uh, actually in inputs sound into that when you have the headphones on. And it plays the reverse of that or something like that into your ears so the sound is canceled out does a pretty good job of that and I really like that feature that's really the selling point of these headphones that is the number one reason that you should buy these headphones and right here I, you guys can see the ear cups uh, on the inside of the ear cups you get there's some uh, cloth which is standard on every headphone it's like a pop filter kind of thing 
and there's some leather on the, uh, it's 100% genuine leather on the ear cups, and they're pretty nice, they feel really nice in your ears, and I really like the feel of that. So onto the side, you guys can see that it has a little left indicator right there, indicating that it is your left ear that's supposed to go on. Um, and um, right here, you guys can see the headband, which is also 100% genuine leather. I'm sure I'm gonna show the front and back of it, and also, you guys can see that is it adjustable. So any size head that you have, it should be able to fit you pretty well. I haven't really had a trouble with that. I wear it in the smallest, uh, smallest setting because uh, it, these are pretty enormous anyway. And uh, right here, I'm showing you guys that even if your head is so weirdly shaped that they have to be like that, it'll fit your head. And um, here's where the headphone, uh, here's where the wire actually plugs into the headphones themselves. It's a pretty large jack. So right now you guys are probably wondering, how is the sound quality in these things? Because that is really uh, what is important in these headphones, because they're not flashy like the Beats, uh, but the Beats have really bad sound quality. Uh, these are almost the opposite. These have one of the best sound, these are one of the best sounding headphones I've ever used in my entire life. I'm not just saying that because of the Bose names, I've actually really tested these out. The highs, mediums, and lows are all amazing. Uh, I can't even say enough about the bass. The bass is so crisp, so clean. It just really matches well with all your music. Your EQ is pretty much flat all the way through, um, except for uh, a couple bits. Uh, but uh, rap isn't rap isn't on par with the rest of the genres that you can listen to uh, with these headphones uh, because of the bass isn't overpowering on these headphones. But with other kinds of music, they're very crisp and clear. And I really do recommend these to anyone because the sound quality is just so, so great. For You can use it for amateur recording or just home listening, anything. It's perfect for pretty much everyone, except for like a professional user because they're not the greatest headphones in the world. I mean, they're $600, which isn't the highest price you can get, but it's still pretty high for the average user. I mean, if you wanted to get some nice studio headphones, you could get them for anywhere up to uh, $5,000. I mean, there are some pretty nice ones, but uh, these things are beasts for the price only six hundred dollars and these are the easily the best sounding headphones i've ever used uh they're pretty much they they trump anything i've used the beats pros before i actually own a pair of studios and solo hds and these things are far superior to these things because uh i i really don't like the beats if you've uh, seen my other videos even the beats pros uh which are like the best beats you can possibly buy these things are so much better i uh can't even tell you the sound quality is just incredible you guys have to check it out for yourselves go to your local store try out the sample you need to try these out soon because once you try these things you will be instantly sold and you will not you'll completely forget about the price tag of six hundred dollars which is a pretty steep price for the average consumer as i said before but you will definitely want to buy these these are pretty awesome if you can uh shell out the cash but uh, that's pretty much it for me, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure you check out my channel if you like reviews like this. It is youtube.com slash iintimigrate. If you, and if you uh, f have a Twitter, make sure you follow me on Twitter, which is uh, twitter.com, or just my handle is at iintimigrate, which is also my username on YouTube. So make sure you guys go follow me on that, and make sure you go check me out uh, on YouTube. You don't have to, but I recommend it because I'm just a cool person like that. Just kidding. And <laughs> that wasn't funny whatsoever. Whatever. <laughs> so, uh, moving on to my outro. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm Tim the Great. Signing out. Peace.